Daily English Conversation Questions and Answers Topic 1 Family How many people are there in your family? There are five people in my family, my father, mother, brother, sister, and me. Does your family live in a house or an apartment? We live in a house in the countryside. What does your father do? My father is a doctor. He works at the local hospital. How old is your mother? She is 40 years old, one year younger than my father. Do you have any siblings? What's his or her name? Yes, I do. I have one elder brother, David, and one younger sister, Mary. Are you the oldest among your brothers and sisters? No, I'm not. I'm the second child in my family. What does your mother father like? My father likes playing football, and my mother likes cooking. Your parents let you stay out too late? Of course not. They always ask me to get home before 10 p.m. each night. Do you stay with your parents right now? No, but I used to. Does your family usually have dinner together? Yes, we do. My mom always prepares delicious meals for us. Topic 2 Restaurant How often do you eat out? Who do you go with? I often eat out on weekends when I hang out with my friends. What restaurants do you usually visit? Well, there are not many restaurants in my neighborhood, so my best choice is the deli in convenience stores like Circle K Mini Stop B Martinique. What type of food do you enjoy to eat Western or Asian? I'm interested in Asian food. Western food is not my thing. How much do you usually pay when you eat out? It's not very expensive, just around $5 for each meal. Do you enjoy spicy food? Yes, I do, especially on cold days. Are the servers there friendly to you? Yes, they are. Most of them are really helpful. Have you ever tried Italian food? Yes, at least once when I was in my friend's wedding party. Are you concerned about calories when eating out? Yes, I am. I'm on a diet now, so this really matters to me. Are fast food restaurants like KFC or McDonald's famous in your country? Yes, they are. The youth in my country are big fans of fast food. Do you often drink alcohol when eating out? No, not often, just when I have parties with my friends. Topic 3 Books How often do you read books? I read books almost every night before I go to bed. What's your favorite type of book? I love reading about different cultures. What can you learn from books? Books broaden my horizon about thousands of things around the world, and books are also my best friends. Where do you read books? I read books at home sometimes in the library. What's the most interesting book you've ever read? I think that would be Nepal, a book written about the country of Nepal in 1999. How long does it take for you to finish a book? Well, it depends on the length of the book, but it usually takes me a week to finish a 300-page book. Do you usually bring books with you when you travel? Yes, I do when I'm at the airport. Or bus station I read books to kill time. 
Are there any bookstores or libraries in your area? Unfortunately, there are none near my house. The nearest one is three kilometers away. Topic for travel. How, how many places have you traveled to? I've visited all the provinces throughout my country. Who do you usually go with? I often go with my family, sometimes with my best friends. What's your favorite tourist attraction? That would be Venice City in Italy. I love riding the gondola along the canals while watching Italian people live their daily lives. H have you ever been abroad? Yes, I have. I came to Italy last year for a business trip. What languages do you use when traveling? English, but sometimes I have to use body language because not all people are good at English. English. What do you usually view during your trip? I often go sightseeing, take pictures, mingle with the local people, and sample the local cuisine. What do you do to prepare for your trip? Before the trip, I search for information about the location, whether famous tourist attractions, transportation, local cuisine, and prices on the internet. What do you usually bring when you travel? I usually pack my suitcase with some necessary items, such as clothes, medicine, food, a map, and a camera. Do you prefer traveling by car, train, or plane? I prefer planes, although it can be a little expensive. Planes are faster than any other mode of transport. Do you prefer traveling alone or joining a guided tour? I love backpacking with my friends who share the same interest as me. Topic five: website. What type of websites do you often search for? It varies depending on my goal. I prefer entertainment and education. Websites such as Facebook, Wikipedia, and VOA Special English. How long have you been using them? I have been using these websites since I was a freshman at university. What do you visit those websites for? I use them to study online or relax after working. What's your favorite website? I think it's probably YouTube.com. Can you read websites in English? Yes, I can. Most useful websites are written in English. What's the most popular website in your country? I'm not quite sure, but I guess it could be Facebook.com. Do you think that you should use websites as a reliable source of knowledge? Not always. They should choose their sources carefully. Topic six: Accident. Have you ever been in a traffic accident? Yes, three years ago. What happened? I was hit by a car while crossing the road. How did you feel then? I felt really terrible because of my injuries. Who was involved in the accident? The car driver, his family inside the car, and me. Did the insurance company pay for repair services? I was walking, so I did not require any car repair services. Didn't you need a lawyer? I hurt my lower back just a little, so I didn't call a lawyer. Did you report to the issue to the police? No, we didn't want to get the police involved. Were you sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Do you have a driving license?
Were you sent to the hospital after the accident? No, the injury wasn't really serious. Do you have a driving license? Yes, I do. I always keep it in my purse. Why should people obey traffic regulations? To protect themselves and others, the best ways are to wear a helmet, wait for traffic lights, and stay in the appropriate vehicle lanes. Topic seven: School. What school did you go to? I went to Millennium High School, founded in 1999. Where is the school located? It's located in New York City, United States. Do you like the architecture of the school? Yes, I do. The architecture is not really impressive. But I like it that the building's architects left plenty of space for lounging. What are the teachers like? Most of the teachers, there are helpful and friendly. I especially like Mr. Mike, my physics teacher. How long have you spent there? I have spent three years of upper secondary school. There is that a single sex school? No, it isn't. This is a unisex school. Why do you enjoy the time there? Although I have to deal with quite a heavy workload, I enjoy the relaxing atmosphere when hanging out with friends in the cafeteria there. What important lesson did you learn from school? I learned how to work in a group in which there are many friends coming from different cultures. That's the lesson of cooperation. Will you recommend that school to others? Yes, of course. Topic thirty festival. I am proud to recommend Millennium High School to anyone who is searching for a good place to learn. How many popular festivals are there in your country? There are many New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, Valentine's Day, Patrick's Day, Easter, etc. What is the most important festival in your country? I believe that New Year's Day is the most important one since it's a chance for family reunion and parties. People gather together to welcome the new year.